started. Welcome Cancers, this is your reading. Let's see what's coming through for the month of May. <laughs> well, there we go, make the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So knowing that it's time for you to go forward. Some of you, we do have reconciliation. So someone from your past is re-entering your life, but this can, I mean, we are in the retrograde, so just keep that in mind. But this is also talking about a time where um, this could be a past life connection reconciliation or someone is coming through but for some of you too because these can happen on like a spiritual level it could just mean that like you come to peace with someone like you're at peace with not being with them kind of thing like there's like this this gift of whatever that is that comes through and we have attraction um, again making the effort though this could be like a grand gesture right so for some of you if that's what you want like this person is putting in the effort and wanting to make this work and they're going above and beyond i think um but with this you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully stop and smell the roses let me give you one more everyone keeps getting the attraction card then i think it's really important for you to keep taking care of yourself or doing the things you like because when you do the things that make you happy that vibration will always bring to you everything you want right and we do have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so there is a lot of healing around your childhood or their childhood or even with your children and finances and career here are also coming through so maybe it was because of a career that someone in your childhood couldn't be around as much. So coming to peace with that and understanding things from a different perspective as adults now that we have some of the responsibilities that they did. But, you know, sometimes we don't know because they might have had kids at a younger age and had other things they had to do. So I don't know why that was where that was coming from. But Cancers, we have a lot of beautiful energy. And let's see what the tarot has for you. I'm just going to give it a good little shuffle here right off the bat. The King of Wands. Well, look at this energy. Who's this hot, hot tamale over here? King of Wands. We have King Dingaling, Ace of Cups, <laughs> the Ace of Wands, and then the Three of Wands. So someone has been making some decisions and waiting for the right time here, and that makes the Four of Wands. So someone has been waiting to make this move, um, express this love, right? Like, wow, I feel like making the effort, like how much more, someone's made the move, someone's moving, or they have. Um, but this is someone taking action and knowing the direction they're going, and it is taking you into newer directions, newer lands, faraway places. I feel like for some of you, if it's an opportunity that you're pursuing, or a business, or a relocation um, but with the king of wands here too fire energy with the ace of cups this person loves you and let me just say the dingling energy will ring your bell it is definitely a great time <laughs> And we have the page of wands so some of you kids could be involved here too but this can also just talk about like this fires you like you haven't been this excited in a long time it makes you feel young again and it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't even matter if you're young it makes you feel like you're just vivacious vibrant full of life full of passion full of desire this is a really hot energy and it's a really like um someone's reignited you know like i feel like there could have been a period where it didn't feel so like you weren't sure if the cup was gonna be coming in or it's not glowing the same way or whatever that past situation was right like make the effort like it wasn't happening and then here's that big cup right like this cup's coming in so i feel like there is a reconciliation so maybe there was an apology for some of you too with the attraction with the fire like you can there's no denying that this person's got a thing for you so let me just let me just put that out there loud and clear um yeah they want you so don't even for a second worry about that let's see what else is coming through oh baby they want you bad capricorn energy naughty 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 but also someone is into some some things um <laughs> we also for some of you could be some past issues stuff here too with someone maybe you were married with or karmics or whatever we're healing a lot of that energy with the six of cups bringing up that past stuff but focusing on this energy which i never like to give him a lot of attention but it also has to do with burdens struggles difficulties things that we were bound to right because they're in chains so this is also just like really breaking free and for some of you too like there could have been a temper or this is kind of like because there's a lot of fire here so that that passion is 
powerful when it's romantic but when it's not so there's like this check that needs to happen so for you guys um cancer maybe it's important to kind of like make sure you do whatever you need if you're in those spaces and i think that's part of this healing because there's a lot of karma or also like resentment but there's just like this like heavy energy or triggering energy maybe you're going to be feeling that a little bit with the ten of wands here too there's a lot of burdens right there could be some situations maybe you're stuck with work or a lot of challenges right you're trying to build something and there's always kind of like that interruption right the devil's always in the details so there's some stuff here that have maybe been trying to keep this apart trying to cause that separation and struggle but also uh for some of you if there are other people then this could have also been like that top toxic energy or toxic people that had to be worked out you're gonna know uh, let's keep going what else is coming through for cancers you have the four of swords right creating this peace creating like whatever that situation I feel like it was a it was like living hell I don't know whether it's for you or for them um didn't matter what they were doing you know they brought all the stuff and they couldn't build it they thought they had all the things but they didn't they you know like i wanted to do it here but they couldn't like there was always like i said there was always something or someone very specific that was like very either narcissistic cruel uh, abusive like i don't know why it's coming in this direction but it is so creating inner peace it don't matter how dark it is around you if you keep yourself in this beautiful space of light and love and when you hold that space within you it doesn't matter right we can't control what happens around us you can only control yourself and if that means you have to take yourself away from a situation you do so and there could be some regrets and sadness maybe you both had like this really painful situation um i feel like there's loss regret pain, mental anguish, like maybe this was a situation here too. Um, I don't know. So like you do have a lot of emotional burdens, mental burdens. So this is again what you're releasing, which makes free if you're breaking these chains. For some of you too, I feel like, you know, making the effort is kind of like, like you might have tried to resist something, but there was always this temptation. So for other of you, it could have been like a really tempting situation or, you know, is, is, confusion between lust almost it's like is this love or is this lust but we do have the ace of cups here and we do have the ace of swords uh, ace of wands no ace of swords but ace of wands so to me i know that that's like a really big beginning now because the devil's here and we have reconciliation and i talked about like a past life this could have been someone you were married to in a past life so yeah huh your souls know how to mingle it's just the new bodies you're finding out how to <laughs> and i'm trying to be pg but i know you know what i mean but there's a lot of healing that this is bringing and we are feeling very attractive and with that devil energy and the attraction it could be an obsession too so just with addictions and stuff like that you want to be careful and with the high priestess it's about tapped in so temperance and the high priestess well there's the king the sorry the knight of cups peeking out here too so the high priestess has to do with intuition. So someone who's really tapped in, really illuminated. Uh, again, dreams are going to be significant. Pisces energy. Someone who's very, like I said, that peaceful, beautiful energy, which is so interesting because it's almost like this mirrored kind of vibration where like she's also in darkness, but of light. And he's also in darkness, but of light. So it's like this clarity and understanding meditation. Um, your dreams are going to be very significant for channeling if you are a reader or healer. And then with the temperance card, it's about creating that balance there, the water and fire again. So for some of you, this is what's giving you that energy and alchemy for this beautiful love to come towards you or that expression of love to happen which is beautiful so cancers this is a beautiful reading for you um making the effort this person is making the effort they're also making the effort to simmer simmer down i don't know what it is too hot to handle or too hot to trot or what's going on here but it's getting pretty spicy i think like you and your person are into the same things 
You know what I mean? Uh, there's also a lot of love, a lot of fun here, but this person does go out of their way when, you know, that negative stuff kind of comes in. You both are healing and working on that. And, you know, you are creating this beautiful new, whatever this is that's growing out of this is coming out, okay? So let's see what, what Archangel Michael has for you and let's see what the prayer is that you need to hear that will help you through this month. Thank you again for your likes, comments, and subscribe. They help so much for the websites, the pages, and everywhere. So make sure you follow all the platforms. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. So for some of us too, like that reconciliation card could mean like you can heal this, you can fix this. And reconciling doesn't always mean with someone, it's with ourselves. So if you're still beating yourself up about something or you're still holding on to some negative attachments or having obsessive or addictions or, you know, some Sometimes we're addicted to beating ourselves up because there was always someone in our life who did that. So it's like you're it's like this programming of negativity that's coming through. So you're healing a lot of that. But you are in charge here with that paintbrush. I don't know why it came through like that, but it did. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. So what a beautiful message, what a beautiful energy. So again, that peace is coming through, the peace that is bringing you into your higher knowing. I feel like for many of you too, you're listening to your inner intuition and staying calm in situations that you know are literally like no weapon formed against you. You shall prosper. That's the only card I'm going to drop. I don't disrespect my cards, but that one, <laughs> you know, if I could, I wouldn't even have it in the deck. But at the same time, this is talking about you having this illumination and enlightenment, which is leading to this beautiful energy. And because you have that peace within you, it becomes an attractive kind of force, right? Because you're stopping, you're smelling the roses, you're taking that time, your energy. Yeah very magnetic. Enjoy that cancer. I love you guys. I will see you really soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.